If you are an old toy Octane subscriber, the Kitbash 3D Manhattan Kick is now available for download. Go into the download section of your old toy account and you should be able to grab a free coupon code for the kit. After you have added a kit to your Kitbash 3D account, go to My Kits, select Manhattan, and download the FBX OBJ files using the native renderer and 2K textures. The download preferences should be set to files and textures. If you want to come back and get the 4K files, you only have to select textures from the download preferences. After you extract the kit, your kit's directory structure should look like the following. You can ignore the .blend files and the archive directory that I previously added. Make sure to extract the 2K texture files into KB3D textures. Now let's open up Blender and start a new project. First, I'm going to remove all objects from the scene. Then set my renderer to Cycles. And set the Color Management View Transform to Standard. Next, I'm going to File, Import, and then select OBJ. If you like, you can also use FBX. For my system, OBJ seems to work a little faster. Now let's navigate to the directory where you extracted the files. With the objects loaded, I'm now going to change the viewport camera clip distance by adding another zero to clip end. This should allow me to see all the objects without clipping. Next, grab the viewport upper right corner and drag out a window. We will set this to the shader editor. I'm adding a ground plane as a shadow catcher and using this object to switch between materials. Usually, I quickly cycle through all the materials to make sure the textures are loaded correctly. This is to make sure there are no invalid nodes that will be rejected during conversion. However, Kitbash 3D FBX OBJ files will load valid PBR texture set. So all we have to do is locate materials without textures. Since we haven't relinked the texture files yet, we can see that the materials without any textures will be white instead of the common purple color. Scrolling through the materials, we can easily see that we have five materials to examine. Let's load the image texture node and start linking the correct textures. Kickbash 3D did a great job in making sure the material and texture sets have the same name. Here I'm going to use the search feature to quickly isolate the correct texture set. To do this quickly, I'm going to make heavy use of copy and paste. For the four glass materials, I will be using base color, metallic, roughness, and normal. If you want the glass to have transmission, use refraction texture. We will not be using it here. Make sure to set the correct color space for your textures. Albedo or base color are direct color information textures and should be set to sRGB. The other three textures are data-driven textures and should be set to none color. For the lamps material, we will add an additional emission texture. Since the emission color is a direct color map, the color space should be set to sRGB. This is a good point to save your work. Let's take a look to see how everything looks in cycles. 
Since we haven't relinked the missing textures, we get mostly purple color objects. Let's correct that. But before we do that, I'm going to change my ground plane to a basic ground material. Now go to File, External Data, then find Missing Files. Point to the directory where we extracted the 2K textures and give it a moment. To see the objects better, I'm going to set up an HDRI and adjust the ground plane. Take some time to tweak the emission strength on the banner and lamps. Once we are happy with our results, it is time to convert the scene to Octane. Switch the renderer to Octane and set the color management view transform to raw. Now select any object with cycles material and go to convert. Make sure to select all materials in the scene to convert everything. With everything converted, we can now turn on Octane and preview the results. The result looks good and the mission adjustment transferred over nicely. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comment, please post them below. I'll try to answer all of them.